Okay, here is the steel landing gear leg for the Mark III Extra. And a lot of guys with the older Classic are using it. It's an inch and three-eighths inside diameter. And it is, the material is 120 wall 4130. Heat treated. It sets the tar and wheel forward about five inches. Pretty much straight up and down with the leading edge of the wing. And it's a very uh, hot item for the Mark III guys. And this one is set up with the, um, the fitting for the older Matco axle that has the flange built onto it. And then um, if you run the O'Brien brakes that we sell today, lower piece, lower unit, we use the um, solid axle and we actually weld a flange here to accept the O'Brien captive disc, but 5 8 diameter axles. But you guys with the uh, Matco brakes, you would receive in this form because your Matco axle will have the flange for the uh, brake mounts welded to the Matco axle. It just plugs in here, 5 8 so a very rugged but yet forgiven landing gear leg and it seems to be working out really good we usually do these in sets of five they don't last long it's a little more rugged than the aluminum 7075 T651 tapered aluminum but so um, it should be a, a direct uh, bolt-in replacement for the for the tapered aluminum leg. So uh, Jim Clemens, you just plug your Matco axle in here, drill and pin it, and you're done. Call it a day. And when you order these, uh, Dennis does mark the um, line here that shows you exactly how far up into the fuselage socket to insert the gear. Mm, thank you all for watching this video on our steel landing gear leg for the Mark III Extra. Very adaptable to any Mark III from the early years until now. This is Travis with the new Cobb Aircraft, and please rate this video and uh, give me a call, 606-862-9692. Email is customer support at tncobbaircraft.com. That's C-U-S-T-O-M-E-R-S-U-P-P-O-R-T at T-N, 